Okay, so we've spoken about love languages, which is obviously a very positive emotion, which mm -hmm. is associated with the relationships. But what about the negative emotions? Ooh. Hate languages. Hate languages. Well, I know what Sonia's would be, just not giving her any Let's try and come up with five. Five hate languages. Five hate languages. Mm. I think hate language is when you're angry with someone. Like the opposite of a love language, yeah. right? So how do you express the negative Like language, anger? I think. Ignoring. So, I don't make eye contact with the... <laughs> so neglect, I would say. But right? that's regardless. Even if she, if she likes you, she Even would give I you like eye contact. Even if I don't make like... eye contact. So how will they know? <laughs> no, so if I'm dating someone, so I'm the sort of person, like I don't like to create a scene in public. I really don't. Or in front of anyone else. I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. Mm, yeah. Anything. There'll just be a slight hint that you'll know when we're out in public that I'm so mad at you. It's just, oh, I'll just stop looking into your eyes and you'll know. Oh, that's, that's like when, it. you know, when you're a kid and you've been naughty out in public and your parents give you that look as in when we go home, you're going to get an earful. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's the look she's going to yeah, get. Yeah, it's just me just going, just completely ignoring your Babe, eyes. Babe, are you okay? Yep. Yeah. Fine. But they yeah, all, they like, all yeah, know. Yeah, I'm totally fine, but I just won't look into their eyes. Oh. And then when we get home, I'd be like, we need to have a conversation. Oh, that is the worst. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. No. But, but it's still words for me. Like if I'm mad at someone on text or something, I will send them like a very like direct straightforward text saying this is what you've done that has hurt my feelings and this is how i feel and i don't think it's cool yeah like, so I for me that comes under the umbrella of ignoring yeah no but i'm telling I mean? them exactly why really yeah how is that neglect no, if I'm, not you it's as words in like of, it's words of words of dissatisfaction words of de-affirmation <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that would be a hate language because you're communicating the problem so you this yeah, is but after I, the hate I'm, language but hate language is when i'm mad at you she's gonna how ignore am I you letting you know that i'm mad at you because but, this is like when i love you how do i let you know that i love you but when i'm okay angry with you how do i let you know that i'm angry with you and it's through words and also uh, not making any eye contact Okay, so words of, what's the opposite of affirmation? That's the thing, what is Words that? of discouragement, words of uh, discouragement. Dis discontentment. <laughs> discontentment, I like Words it. of discontentment. Words uh, of Step into my office, you've been a what, bad What boy. is yours, Roxy, when you're mad? Oh, I don't know. I hate confrontation. But I'm also one of those people where if we've had like something, I'll be like, okay, look, this happened and I want to suss it out straight away so that we can finish and close the book. Like, I don't want to. Oh, you just want to get it out. I want to get it out, like clear the air and just move on with our lives. Oh, wow. And if I don't That's get that, so that will kill me. Wow. Yeah. So the minute you feel like something negative, you immediately like, we have to talk about this right now. I'd be like, yeah, can we like talk about it so we can mm -hmm. like, yeah, sweep away the You or him, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's such a great thing to do. Yeah. I could do that. Oh, no. Oh, I would think I that would be yours. I find it difficult. I mean, I've, I've definitely worked on myself in the last like 10 years, but um, yeah, yeah, I've, I've gotten have. better. You go good. When somebody like um, wrongs me, passive aggressiveness has been my go to uh, language. Z. Z is the most oh. passive aggressive That's person. Very like, though, is That's it? very British, though. It's very British of Z. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. exactly. <laughs> it maybe bother. I will it butter your skin <laughs> and maybe I will not. <laughs> <laughs> Butter yeah. your own skin. Your own skin. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what it. Um, passive aggressiveness. Like I'll just be like, I'll act it. Like, I'll act like it doesn't care. Like I don't care. Mm. And then three days later, you won't. I won't speak to you. <laughs> oh shit. Or ooh. or ooh. Um, talking about that look. I don't know if you want to include this or not, but um, I messaged Q yesterday or day before this, and uh, I messaged him to meet for lunch. And he didn't read the message. And then I found out that he went for lunch with like his work colleagues. <gasps> and I just looked at him and he was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was at the deathly stare. I was like, no, 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 it's fine. Yeah, Z, Z does have a look where she just goes. I could imagine Z having a look. Like, yeah. It's a no bullshit look. And then when Z gives me that look too, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I thought I was so subtle with my looks, but apparently I'm not. No, no, no. You no, know no, no, I no, no, no. look on your face. You can know oh my God. disapproves. Need to work on it more. <laughs> no, actually, no, I love that about you though. Cause you know, when you're like, oh shit, he's disappointed in me. And then you want to do better. <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah, I do want to Like I need to do better in life. Pull yourself together. Okay. So we've got neglect. We've got pa um, words of discontentment. I mm -hmm. don't think, so I think neglect. we can put passive aggressiveness in, in neglect. What about, one of you probably like manipulation. Oh, when she would hate like, that. Oh, like games. Like that. As in, it's a hate language. Oh. Because you don't like it. As in, you would hate it because it's games. I'm so yes. easily manipulated. <laughs> yeah, you can't uh, play games or something. Playing yeah. games, right? Yeah, yeah. playing yeah, games. I get like... played. 
And then I really, I'm <laughs> just like, doopy doopy doo. And then when I find out I got played, then I get very upset. Yeah. Last, last time I got played, I asked him, I was like, you play games with me? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh no. And I threw him out of my house. <laughs> Mm -hmm. At least sank his battleship. I asked him, he was like, if I hadn't played games with you, you wouldn't have been interested in me. And that's, ah. when I, that's when I knew. And I was like, everything clicked. And I was like, whoa, you did this to me. And then I said, please leave my home. It's actually interesting because do you generally tend to like someone who doesn't, I, I don't know, I find you tend to really like get infatuated with someone who does play games with you or who shows you mm. like the cold shoulder. I feel like um, when we're younger. I was like this before yeah. years played. ago. But maybe that is why you got infatuated. No, but if, if, if it's intentionally playing games with me, the moment I find out, it's over. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. If it's intentional, it's over immediately because that's something I cannot respect. Like I understand if your love language is not matching mine, you're taking some time to adapt. I get it and I'll give you time. But if you're trying to mess with my head, I'm like the most straightforward, direct transparent human being on earth i think that is true and if you're like fucking about with my brain like i don't deserve that and if you do that then you don't deserve me agreed so don't waste your time yeah yeah i just can't take it oh i agree i've been in that situation where i've been played and oh my oh, god damn. i got infatuated it was asshole <laughs> oh, asshole number one was a very um, big and asshole. just oh my goodness Every, everything from like making me think we were meeting up to just ghosting me and like yeah, that yeah, kind of they thing. They do that, don't they? That's just such mm. a dick move. Like, and I was like you, like I was like, yo, I'm not holding, I'm not wearing any gloves. I'm not like, I am who I am. I'm telling you how I feel. Yeah. And just everything, messaging, not messaging, suddenly you'll be nice, suddenly you'll be mean. Like yeah. it was just, oh. Yeah, that was, and and suddenly that. nice and suddenly mean stuff that really like hurt me, I think. And I've never been with that because you know, us nice people, we luckily don't get, we don't treat people like this. So you don't expect to be treated back like yeah. this. And then you do and you're just like, whoa. It's a strategy, what you know. Happened? This is the crazy part. Because I always thought humans were inherently good. Oh, no. No, no but I still like not. to believe that most of us are. <laughs> Look at me and I'm like. <laughs> no, I always believe this until obviously my asshole. Yeah. The one, you, there's always one guy who like <laughs> destroys one. your worldview a little bit. <laughs> All humans suck. So the because guy who did that to me, asshole. like, I remember, like, one day he would, like, love bomb me. And the next day he would just be like, like, just forget about me, my, me existing. And I was always like, maybe I did something wrong. You this know, is like, the worst game people play with each and other then, when you think you've done something but wrong. The whole time I kept questioning myself, thinking maybe I'm just expecting too much from this person. But oh. these are very normal expectations. When you're kind of dating someone, it's very normal to expect them to be... Yeah, there. just consistent with you yes. every day yes. and when he told me that he was doing it on purpose i was like what a he terrible he told you he was be. doing it on purpose i asked him are you playing games with me and he said yeah and at least he said yes my guy didn't even admit it there, there was like a <sighs> moment of silence where there was this really like crazy tension in the air and he went yes and, and i was like, was like yes. <laughs> <Get out." laughs> no my heart broke i was Aww. like oh what a terrible human that's when i knew that not all human beings are inherently good no I would understand if, like, the girl you were dating was also, like, a player. So, all right, you're both playing the game. Fine. But why do you do, do it, it to Don't do it to me. Yeah. Why do you <laughs> do it to people who just, who don't, <laughs> clearly not like that? No. Shitty I think maybe because I'm an easy target then, no? I'm an I easy target. I'm so I easy. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's because you, when, when people approach you, they see, they put you in a category, right? This pretty girl, popular on, in, on social media, like confident. You come across- 451,000, like, thank you very much. Unfortunately, <laughs> in this world, a lot of people feel, like a lot of men feel they have to play games with girls like this to get them interested. But that's just unfortunate. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. I don't think, especially in our age range, I feel like when we're younger, yeah, people, yeah, maybe. you do this and sometimes you expect it, but like in mm, our age, don't fuck true. around. Exactly. Stop fucking you don't around. got time, yo. I ain't got no, time. The, you know the crazy World's part is, ending. <laughs> the crazy part is like I was attracted to this person, my asshole. I was attracted to him, <laughs> my asshole. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> turned in right there. <laughs> I was I was attracted to him because he opened up to me and he was vulnerable in front of me, and that's what actually attracted me to him. And he was hey. he was. Um, giving me words of affirmation sometimes and that's what attracted me but what ruined my spirit broke my spirit was his other games and that is the reason i never spoke to him again and 
that's what fucked it up. He didn't have to play the games. If he hadn't, we would have probably been together. Still been that's together. the crazy part. Well, we wouldn't have he been, been together. Because mine guy was actual asshole. I don't know if your guy was nice in the end, but mine was not. <laughs> oh, no, he was a terrible human being. Yeah. I guess yeah. they are. They have the similar traits. Now we know. Mm hmm. It's the asshole trait. It's called negging. Negging? Mm -hmm. Negging? Did you What's make saying? that up? No, no. Uh, my brother told me, Zen told me, he told me, because I told him at that, that point, I was like, you know, some days he's so nice to me and the next day he hates me. I don't understand. He's like, oh, girl, you're being negged. What? And I was like, what is this? And he said, it's called negging. I Google it. Is it like begging, but with an N? No, girls. No, is that how it's written? It's negging. It's like begging with an N. So negging is an act of emotional manipulation whereby a person makes a deliberate backhanded compliment or otherwise, hold on. Or otherwise flirtatious remark to another person to undermine their confidence and attempt to engender in them a need for the manipulator's approval. The term was coined and prescribed by pickup artists. It is often viewed as a straightforward insult rather than a pickup line. So it's, it's a lot of like, where they'll be nice to you, but in like a backhanded way. Okay. I get that. So like backhanded compliments. Yeah. Like this, my asshole used to tell me things like, you know, like he, every compliment would have like a weird like mm. oh you're insight. nice for a oh you're like it's like when you say a or but at the end right? yeah like you know you you're actually really intelligent yes mm. when yes, you're yes. when you're blah yeah. blah blah, blah. Mm. even just that without or the like, when you're, you're is already actually, oh, really actually intelligent. you're smart yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to I be like, you, know, you look like... really good um in trousers and crop tops not so much in dresses. <gasps> yeah. He said this. Oh, oh, my, my, no. oh my God. No. I did not wear dresses for a long time then. You should mm. always wear dresses. Also, petition to have Sonia only wear white. <laughs> you like the white outfit. Yeah, you look so pretty. <laughs> I was there. Okay. Special segment. Hypothetical. Do you have a hypothetical for us? Do I have a hypothetical? Oh, yes, I have a hypothetical. Ooh. Okay. Let's just source the hypothetical. I'm making this up as we go. Go ahead. Okay. So, you've met the guy of your dreams. And his love language is physical touch. But it's a specific type. It's a caveat in the physical touch. He really likes oh, public displays of affection oh, and being fuck. super raunchy in public. <laughs> 